Hello everybody, John Chuo back here again with another video, and today I bring you something that I've been trying to talk about for a while now, but I have not gotten the chance. Uh, but today I'm here to talk about the Big Trouble in Little China remake. Yes, for those of you who are fans of the John Carpenter classic Big Trouble in Little China, you're probably pissed off right now as to why they're remaking another one. And to a certain extent, I am too. I mean, I'm a huge Carpenter fan. I love Carpenter films. I've loved them ever since I was a little kid. And I personally, I think... After a certain point in time, you just gotta stop with the remakes, because it gets tiring and it gets really old really quick, and for some reason, Hollywood loves remaking Carpenter movies. They just do. They just love remaking them. I mean, I guess it's really flattering to Carpenter, but at the end of the day, just, they just love remaking his movies, and for me personally, the biggest thing is... If you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. Because when you go back and look at it in perspective, when you put it, like, just, you know, put it right there on the table, there's never been a really, really amazingly well done or awesome remake of a Carpenter movie. I mean, like, just, just to name a few, uh, Halloween, you know, The Fog, The Thing, terrible fucking remakes. There were terrible remakes, and the list goes on. You know, there's just never been a legit perfect, well-done remake of a Carpenter movie. And at the end of the day, I personally, when I first heard that they were going to remake a Big Trouble in Little China movie, I had some mixed feelings. I didn't really want to see it, I didn't really care for it, and I really, really didn't want it to happen. But at the end of the day, there was some news that got along with it that really changed my opinion and really made me feel like well, this could actually be pretty fucking awesome, and I'll tell you why, because I know a lot of people out there, I'm pretty sure, are pissed off about it already, but I'm going to let you know my personal thoughts, and then you can go off on it, which is, of course, for those of you who don't know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is going to be starring as Jack Burton, who was originally be um, played by Kurt Russell, and of course, he's going to be producing the remake with his own production company, and of course... Uh, writing the movie, the remake, will be Ashley Miller and Zach Stentz, if I'm saying that correctly, who, of course, uh, wrote movies like, uh, freaking First, X-Men First Class, and, uh, Star Trek, they're working on Star Trek 3, and, of course, uh, they're working on the current reboot to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. So, of course, there's a lot to, uh, look forward there that really amps up my anticipation and hype for this movie. I mean, for me personally, I love Dwayne Johnson. I, I fucking, he's a badass, he's awesome, and, and right now, he's been on this really nice sweet spot where he's just really progressed so much as an actor that you can take him serious in anything. You know, I mean, back in the day, if this was happening like 10 years back, I would have definitely disagreed with it. I would have, like, pow-drived it right to the ground, if you will, no pun intended. But at the end of the day, Dwayne Johnson today, and remakes how they're done today, I guess, I think could be a good fit. I mean, it works a little bit more than how I would compare it back in the day, but now I think it really, it's pretty fucking awesome. I mean, Dwayne Johnson... He's just freaking awesome, I'm gonna say that. I mean, he he makes shitty movies awesome. He makes fucking awesome movies even more awesome. He's just a box office success. And I'm just saying, I would follow Dwayne Johnson to the grave. I'd fucking do that. He's just freaking a phenomenal person in, in general. And he's just really great with fans and really great as, as a personality. As a celebrity, if you will. But at the end of the day, uh, Big Trouble in Little China has a lot going for it. I mean, Dwayne Johnson playing Jack Burton, I think that's a great uh, decision. I think that's a great choice. I mean, right now, Dwayne Johnson is a humongous star, and he also has this really good persona of being, like, the main character or being, like, the hero. And if they do this Big Trouble in Little China remake, it will be kind of funny to see, like, the co like the complete negative that, you know, like, the comparison. You know, for those of you who don't know the original, spoilers, but Jack Burton... Even though he's the lead of the movie, he's actually the sidekick in his own movie. He's not really the the leading man. He's not really the hero that he believes he is. It's a really funny uh, comparison and, and that kind of notion. It's kind of like Green Hornet, you know? It's just the Green Hornet, he may be the hero of the show, but he's not really the hero. Kato, his sidekick, is the actual hero. So it's kind of like the same thing with Big Trouble in Little China, where Jack Burton, who's allegedly the hero, isn't really. And I think that would be kind of funny if they did that with Dwayne Johnson, like this really big, gigantic 
you know, strong guy who's like, you know, I'm going to save everybody, but at the same time, his, like, little Asian sidekick or something, or whoever they get, they get the cast uh, for the sidekick, is, like, the actual hero who kicks ass even harder than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I think that would just be hysterical and just comedic gold. Uh, and, of course, Ashley Miller and Zach Stent, they're fucking awesome writers. They've been in the grind, in the grit for, you know, years, and I think they can pull off some really interesting, uh, you know, uh, com comedic action-packed story uh, development in this one project. I mean, in the screenplay, I have full faith that they can kill it, and they're working on badass projects as, as of right now. I mean, as I stated currently, they're obviously doing Star Trek 3, and obviously they're doing uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, so there's a lot of faith in what their, you know, in their creativity and in their, you know, pre-existing, you know, screenplays, kind of justifies them working on this project, for me personally. So at the end of the day, I really like the idea. Dwayne Rock Johnson remaking Big Trouble in Little China is not a terrible thing. Back in the day, I would have agreed with a lot of fans, a lot of the purists, I would have agreed with them like, oh, this is terrible, Dwayne The Rock, the Rock? Stupid! But now, now, that's a completely different guy, and this is a completely different landscape of filmmaking that we're in, in comparison to like 10 years back. So I personally have faith in it. Uh, the only thing that kind of has a negative on it is that there's no real director on board yet. Uh, for me personally, that's the real big thing that I'm really uh, encouraged to find out because you can have a great actor like Dwayne Johnson, you can have great writers like Ashley Miller and, and Zach Stentz, but at the end of the day, if you don't have a director that's just as good to top all this, then it's going to be shit. You know, because we've already seen how shitty remakes can be done with sh with shitty directors. I mean, just look at Poltergeist just recently. I, I did a movie review on it. If you've not seen it, go to my channel, check it out. I mean, that remake isn't even a horror movie. It's a fucking suspenseful, it's a suspense comedy. That's what it is. It's not a horror movie, and that's just, you know, a debacle in and of itself. So I hope with this remake, they... Stay as original as they possibly can with their re reboot, and on top of that, I hope they justify uh, everything they're doing and be as creative as possible. And personally, I hope they just get an amazing director to just uh, helm this project. For me personally, I have no idea who could direct. Um, there's there's no real director that comes to mind that I can see like, oh yeah, that guy could do it. I really don't know. Let me know in the comments below who you think could direct this movie. But at the end of the day, I have faith in this project. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has already started talking about it on on his social medias and what have you, and interviews and what have you. So uh, I guess he's you know going going into this project with you know fucking off full throttle and what have you. And he also has been talking about. Uh, the possibility of having John Carpenter being involved with the project, which is another really interesting thing. So, for me personally, uh, I don't think Carpenter should direct the remake, but uh, if he has any kind of involvement creatively, uh, or just like trying to progress the vibe of what Big Trouble in Little China is about, then I think that's a good decision on their part. Uh, I'm just saying, like, the more and more this project progresses, the more and more I'm getting excited. I mean, Dwayne DeRock Johnson, Jack Burton, awesome. Uh, you know, Miller and Stentz writing the screenplay, awesome. You know, John Carpenter possibly being involved, fucking amazing. So, at the end of the day, there is no real negative from me. I like the idea, I like the project. Uh, the only real problem I have now is whether or not it's going to happen, and two, who's going to direct it. That's the only two real big issues I have. But in the comments below, let me know what you personally think. Uh, what are your personal thoughts on Big Trouble in Little China being remade? What are your personal thoughts on Dwayne The Rod Johnson playing Jack Burton? Do you think it's a good decision? Do you think it's a terrible decision? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, let me know who you think should direct the Big Trouble in Little China remake. And of course, do you think John Carpenter should have any kind of involvement with the remake? I mean, granted... Uh, looking back at it, he's never had real major involvement with prior remakes, so I doubt he'll have any in this one. But if he does, I would love to see what he does with it. But that being said, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Been Josh12.